Moving on with our discussion of navigating Photoshop, we're now going to take a look at the Navigator. Now, the Navigator is a special panel specifically designed to help you zoom into and out of your document as well as pan around. It's very, very easy to use, and I actually find myself using it quite a bit. However, if you are using the Essentials workspace and you have reset that like I just did, you won't see the Navigator. To get access to it, you need to go under the Window menu and jump down to Navigator, like so. And here you go. Now, currently, the navigator is pretty much dead. It's all grayed out, and it doesn't do anything. That's because we don't have an image open. So I'll go to File, go to Open, and let's mix things up a little bit. I'll grab this lighthouse image that you see here. And what you end up seeing in the navigator is a smaller copy of your image, along with a red box that shows you exactly what you're looking at at the moment. So as soon as you're zoomed out such to the point where your entire image fits on your screen, at that point, the navigator is going to show this box going all the way around your image. Now let's talk about the interface for just a minute. First off, we have this little smaller version, this kind of thumbnail of your view, and this is used to pan around your image, but right now we can't pan because we're right in the middle of everything. However, we've, if we look down underneath, we've got a zoom factor we can punch in. We can set this to 100%, and notice that our little red box suddenly got a little bit smaller. We also have some buttons for zooming in and out. So if I hit the little smaller button, it looks like two small mountains, we zoom out. If I hit the two bigger buttons, you'll see that we zoom in. And we're going in incrementally by about 100% each time. And then that starts to kind of jump until we get to 3,200%. So just with a few clicks, you can zoom in and zoom out. Now that we've zoomed in a little bit, we're at 300%. You can see that this box inside the little thumbnail is quite small. And as we put our hand over it, we get our little hand tool. We can drag this box around to focus on exactly what we want to see. So if I know for a fact I want to take a look at the top of the lighthouse, I can drag this box right over here to the top of the lighthouse, and lo and behold, that's exactly what we're going to be looking at here inside our actual document. Now, the cool thing about the Navigator, the reason I like it so much, is really not because we can use it like this. I mean, really, with everything you've seen so far, you could just hit the space bar, and you can you know, jump over there very, very quickly. However, it is very nice to have the Navigator on an entirely separate screen if you happen to have a multi-monitor set up, and you can use that to really jump around to a lot of different locations. It's also very nice with an extremely big document. I do a lot of design work inside of Photoshop, creating uh, DVD cases and whatnot, and those are pretty big documents because they're print resolutions, or they're 300 DPI, a whole lot of pixels to go through, and I know if I need to grab something right on the spine and adjust it, or the spine of the, uh, the actual case, I know I can drag this little box to pretty much the middle, and that's where I'm going to be. So it's a, just kind of a nice way to get around your document. Now there's not much you can change about the navigator itself. I am going to tear it off as its own separate panel and we'll just collapse everything else. If you are using a multi-monitor setup, you can make this nice and big. Uh, I have done this a, <clears throat> excuse me, a few times in the past, especially with really, really huge documents when I know that I've really got to be zoomed in quite far, because you'll notice on the left-hand side, we're down to the pixel level, and it's very hard to tell what we're looking at. However, in the navigator, we can get right up on whatever our other, you know, whatever it is we need to be looking at, and we can zoom right in on that one object. I would never actually use the navigator like you see here in the video. Uh, if I was actually doing this, the navigator would be to my right or to my left on an entirely separate monitor and being used simply as a means to get around to more complicated parts of an image. Now, aside from being able to resize it, uh, the only other option we have access to is the ability to change the color of this box. I know it sounds like almost nothing at all, but if we go under the panel options, our view box by default is set to light red, and you've got some default colors you can set it to here, or you can go to custom and get the color picker and set it to any color of the rainbow that you like. So when you click OK, that's now the size of that little box. So if you need to move that little box around, like say you have an image which is primarily red and so the red box isn't all that helpful to you, you can change that box to any color that you like. That is a quick rundown of the Navigator. I realize this was a pretty short video, but it's a very nice way to get around the images in Photoshop. And that will wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.